Here we have a 2007 BMW 120D diesel M Sport 5 door hatchback in black. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth looking at around 4 to 5 millimetres there. Offside front alloy more than likely going to require a refurb as we have got curbing around the majority of the alloy or towards the outer edge of the alloy. So definitely going to require a refurb there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork. Bodywork doesn't look too bad at all to be honest. I can spot just one or two very light dinks but no signs of any dents there. Looking around the offside from quarter panel, a couple of light scratches going to require polish. Looking at your mirror, got a very light scratch there again, we'll polish out no problem. Of course being black it's going to show everything under the sun. Drive's door again, some light scratches could do with a polish again. Door edge, no real sign of any heavy chips there. So if the sills are in good condition. Rear passenger door again, just one or two light little scratches here and there. Again, door edge is clean. Moving towards the rear arch of the vehicle. Again, some light scratches on the back here. Should be able to polish out no problem. And taking a look at the rear tyre. Not a great deal of tread there, around two, two, two and a half mil, so that'll need changing pretty soon. And again, we've got some curbing around the alloy on the outside edge. So again, a refurb required there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Taking a look at the rear of the car. Again, you can see got parking sensors. Got some scuff marks on the, uh, the edge of the bumper there. As you can see, it looks like they've had some paint. Again, you've got a scratch there, it's had some paint there, some deep scratch is on the back. It's going to require some touchings as well, as you can see, one or two marks. It also looks like it's had a bit of paint work on the back. Um, so, it might have had a bit of paint by the looks of things on the back, but it's definitely required mop and polish anyway. You've got some very deep scratches there to the plastic next to the exhaust. And the near side rear quarter. Again, some scratches, look like they've had some paint to them. But again, they're going to need doing it again. Let's take a look inside the boot. Parcel shelf, pretty clean condition. Obviously, no spare wheel with the BMW. We've run some near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at around two, two and a half mil. Near side rear alloy. Again, we've got some curbing to this alloy, so going to require a refurb there. And taking a look down the near side of the bodywork. Once again, there is one or two light dinks, no signs of any dents. A lot of light scratches going down the vehicle here. It's going to require just a good full body mop and polish will really benefit this car. Um, some light scratches, again, some touchings required to the paintwork. Both the sills and the door edges are in good condition. And again, a bit of a scuff there. It's going to definitely require some paintwork on the mirror. And again, just some light scratches as we make around down to the front arch, where you can see you've got some scratches again to the paintwork. Front tyre, good 5mm easy there, so two front tyres have got plenty of tread, however the rears will need changing uh, pretty soon. And again we have got some curving to this front alloy, not too bad, but a potential refurb. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, I'm looking at the near side front quarter. As you can see got some scuff marks there. Again, looks like they've had some paint, but going to need doing again to be honest. Light scratches as well, so some are heavier than others. Uh, scuff on the front there. We've got scuff marks on the bottom or lip of the bumper, as you can see. And again, you can see there's a bit of moisture on the driver's side headlight. And again, some stone chips to the uh, front and also to the bonnet. Bonnet's a little bit wet, so it's a bit hard to see. But taking a look at the interior. As you can see, you've got the half leather and cloth interior. Back of the seats actually appear to be in a nice condition. There's no signs of any damage at all, no stains or marks to the cloth. Back of the seats are also in a nice condition as well, and the same with the door panels. Take a look at the driver's seat, and as we can see, if we just have a look on the bolster there, you can see what some scratches all along there, and also some uh, slight tears to the leather there. Again, there's very small little scratches there in the driver's bolster, and again, the front passenger seat is actually in a nice condition. Dashboard etc, there's no real scratches or marks and the M Sport steering wheel is in a good condition as well. Step inside the vehicle. Now we do have two sets of keys with the car as you can see there. And if we just get the vehicle started. As you can see there is a service light indicating there. No issues at all starting vehicles, it's start first time. 
and we're looking at 79,448 miles on the clock with no other symbols apart from the service lights appearing on the dash. Like I said, you've got the M Sport steering wheel here, not in bad condition. CD and radio. Everything's in good order there, so that's working perfectly fine. No issues at all with the blowers, again, all working great. And you can see the air conditioning light indicating there it's on and off. Manual transmission, and as you can see, nothing big, but that doesn't actually stay down, so be aware of that. Look at the V5, now it is a copy, as the plate is on retention, but I'm uh, assuming the V5, the original or the age-related plate, will be back very soon. Cars had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. MOT till Feb 23rd 2015, so the MOT will be required next month. And we are looking at a full partial franchise history. So you've got a franchise stamp there at 19, you've got a stamp there at 31, stamp there at 60 and a stamp there at 70. We're currently on 79,000, so mileage wise wasn't that long ago done. There you go guys, this is the 2007 BMW 120D M Sport in black.